Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we are at the Monterey Fairgrounds and we are here for the Artichoke Festival. Now this Artichoke Festival used to be the Castroville Artichoke Festival. Castroville is just maybe about 10 miles away. It used to be there, but it outgrew the facilities that they had there. They had some uh, fencing around the downtown area and they moved it to the Monterey Fairgrounds. So they didn't have one last year because of COVID. This is the first time they started back up since COVID. So we're kind of looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing it in this new location. Now, I believe they moved here in 2015. We haven't been for quite a few years. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. You want some more? Um some more artichokes? You good? All right. Okay, so right now I am in the, I guess this would be the performance hall, the demo hall, right? Cooking demo hall. The demo yeah. hall. And I am speaking with whom? I'm Judy Paquette, and I'm the manager for the California Artichoke Advisory Board. Now, Judy, you just finished doing a um, presentation, correct? That's correct. And you made these amazing uh, tacos. I did. And so what is in these What is in these tacos? So what I did is I did a vegetarian taco with the highlight of artichokes being uh, the main ingredient. So I took uh, baby artichokes, uh, cut them down into small bite-sized pieces, sautéed them with some onion, garlic, and I threw some mushrooms in there as well. I wanted to ask you, like, because uh, you do see like globe um, globe artichokes and baby artichokes and all these different things. Are they all like just different part, different uh, times of harvesting the same plant, or are they so, different varieties? Um, all of California artichokes are globe artichokes. Okay, um, so when they refer to a, a small or baby or large, that's just referring to the size of the globe artichoke. Okay. Now I heard you mention earlier something about uh, a problem they had with the crop this year. Um, well, it's been several years. We've had an infestation of the plume moth and, and some other um, diseases with um, the plants. And so our perennial crop, which is uh, what most people know is an heirloom artichoke, um, it has been shrinking. Wow. And so the growers have had to come up with a way to keep supplying artichokes to the consumers. And so they've come up with a, an annual variety, which is a seeded variety of artichokes um, that you're seeing more in the grocery stores now. Okay, so my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, my understanding is that um, in the world that uh, the U.S. is something where third or fourth in, in production, but but in the United States, that this area is is 100% of the artichokes grown in the United States are grown in this area. 98% of no. the U.S. artichokes are grown in, in California. Now in this area here, which is Monterey County, 68% uh, are grown. Because my, my understanding is that uh, these they're they're, they're typically grown in the Mediterranean, and the, the, the climate here is almost identical to the climate there. With the, Correct. The, it mimics it, and so the artichokes like the nice cool air coming off the ocean. They like the sunny days that we get, and then the fog, you know, in the mornings and the evenings. That that's very conducive to the protection of artichokes. Oh well, thank you. It is a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, so here's one of the artichoke. Uh, tacos. Let's give that a shot. It's, it's, it's on a tiny little tortilla, but they look really good. Bite-sized taco. Oh my god, that's really good. The um, the the mushroom and the artichoke together, they um, complement each other really well. That's just really good. I would like a big size taco like that. I think we're going to go for one of the burritos. All right, so right now 
I'm in what looks like the artichoke food court. So it seems like there's different uh, stands. I don't know if they're all related. I don't know if it's the same, uh, the same business, but it, 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 there's, there's little restaurants in here. The first one is uh, grilled and steamed artichokes. And so they, they have a, a big grill out here that they're grilling the, the artichokes with. There's artichoke soup, artichoke sausage sandwich, art, fried artichokes, artichoke burritos, and artichoke dessert, which is where I understand they have artichoke ice cream. So we're gonna have to try that. Um, there's some, I see some other food tents and stuff around, so we'll just have to walk around and check it out. I also want to see if they have any kind of, um, you know, horticultural uh, exhibits on how the, um, how the artichokes are grown. In past times, they used to take busloads of people out to the artichoke fields and show them how they're harvested. Uh, I think because of COVID, they don't do that anymore. So we're going to check it out and see what else is going on. Okay, I had a choice. I could do the uh, grilled and steamed artichokes, artichoke soup, artichoke sausage sandwich, fried artichokes, artichoke burritos, artichoke desserts, and there's probably other stuff out there too. I opted for the artichoke burrito. So this is a meat burrito. Uh, it has ground beef in it. It has all the stuff that you would expect to find in a burrito, but it also has artichokes in it, which you would not expect to find in a burrito. So let's go ahead and try that. It has a lot of artichoke in it. the texture, the taste. So even though it's a meat burrito, the strongest taste in here, the most overpowering taste in here is the artichoke. Now, I can honestly say, I've never had an artichoke burrito before. I mean, look at all the artichoke in there. That's really good. That's really good. I'm, I'm actually shocked. That's gonna get a big thumbs up from me. So I'm gonna fi finish my artichoke burrito, and then I think I'm gonna go for the artichoke ice cream. All right, so this one is the um, is the artichoke flavor with artichoke chunks. So you can actually see the little green chunks of artichoke in there. The chunks of artichoke are chewy, and it definitely tastes like a vegetable. And you would think that that would clash in ice cream. That's really sweet, and it doesn't. For some, I never had like a vegetable ice cream. And this is really good. That's another one for the books. So I'll go ahead and finish this. Check to see what else is around.
All right, so who am I speaking with? Bobby Blue. Bobby Blue, and you work for? Uh, I work for Ocean Mist. Ocean Mist. Okay, so um, now in the past, like I think I think it was 2000, maybe 13, maybe even earlier than that, that was at the uh, Castor Guard Truck Festival. They used to take people out and bus out to the fields to see where they grow. Right. And I, I guess because of COVID, they really don't do that anymore. Exactly. So the thing is, the artichoke is, is part of this thistle family, correct? Correct. So, but it is the only edible part of the thistle family? Like, so the smaller thistles, can you eat those? The, the chokes and the smaller thistles? Well, artichokes in general, size-wise, this is a small artichoke. It's a much larger artichoke. Right. It's the same, the, but the same plant, right? Same plant, different stage of growth. Can you eat the greens? The greens? Yeah, the artichoke greens themselves. I personally have never tried it. I do know that certain components that uh, down on the artichoke, this can all be, this is all edible. Mm -hmm. Even what is the stem, you can trim that off. This is all one complete portion that can be used. It's edible right away. Oh wow. Especially when it's done. Okay. I was hoping that somewhere, like I have not seen anywhere here anybody have the flowers that they're really beautiful. They really are. It's this whole thing will open up and it, most times it turns purple on the edges. And they are quite purple. Yeah, they really are. All right, thank you very much. Absolutely. Hey, it's so good to see that the COVID has not dulled the spirit of the Artichoke Festival at all and that it's still going on. So hopefully it'll grow back stronger. It's a great place to check out and uh, it's, it's good to see that it's back on track. So uh, get out here next year if you get a chance, but be sure to be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.